Getting a car around the track can be challenging at times. I've, I've had the chance to actually drive a lot of different road cars um, around racing tracks. Mm. And um, having a balance off the off the racetrack and on the normal road and then on the racetrack is actually really, really challenging. So obviously on a racetrack, you want to have the car on the edge of, of grip the entire way around the track. That's how you're going to get around fastest. And when you do that, you're always... Um, having problems like the edge of grip what does that mean does it mean you're turning and you're having understeer so it's not turning enough does the rear get a bit loose you know what is the edge of grip and this thing's balance was easy it made it really enjoyable to get around the track and there was no nasty little things coming out of it although you might have felt there was nasty Rick, things it was but, awesome <laughs> absolutely it, awesome man thank you so much for that and i like the fact that i got to see what this car is capable of because i'm like most people i think i can drive okay but i know that i am nowhere near able to reach the limits of this car. This is how well engineered for the track it is. So for us to see someone who can do it demonstrate the limits of this, it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, that's a good point. There's two things that you definitely want it to be able to get to the limit easily and to be a lot of fun and we, and we had that. But someone said, what's it like compared to a supercar? Well, I think it's, uh, it's very different. We've got um, all the luxury items inside the car. Um, so that's a good thing. I don't have any of those in, in the supercar. It's pretty um, no agricultural Apple car in there. How's, yeah. your, how's your air conditioning going? <laughs> no, it doesn't have a little bit of helmet cooling, but um, yeah, it is actually quite different. So that's a, it's a really good question. The balance that the car has, it's very forgiving on a racetrack and so a supercar isn't you know this has uh, like most cars abs and all the things that are um, important to you to pull the car up but it's outright handling is very forgiving and quite enjoyable to drive for me the thing that i loved is walking up to it having a look at what it's like and i think we've touched on a lot of those really like you put earlier those hidden little gems that that are underneath the body of the car that makes makes this perform exactly it's not there for looks exactly it's there for a job what, yeah absolutely and I, I also mentioned that you know with a lot of cars that i've driven on the track they look fantastic driving down the street. They're known as performance cars, but they have, you know, different characteristics that can make it, them quite ugly um, and not very enjoyable to drive around a racetrack. And this doesn't have that. The thing that I really loved is the balance. It's nice and easy to try and extract as much um, pace out of this car as you can on a racetrack and then not do anything ugly and really in enjoy it because that's what it's about. You want to open the garage door, see a fantastic car. I think it ticks the boxes there and then put it on the racetrack if you so choose to you may not and really enjoy what it's got to offer so for me i love it and i'm going to try my best to hang on to this one right here in the shed